Hello, hello. No, I'm not changing the way I have been doing my readings, my videos. No, this was not planned. Not at all. Okay. But I have no other choice. A lot of you are aware that I am going through dental procedures. And even though things were looking quite good, this morning I woke up looking like a chickmunk. <laughs> I am swollen. But the good thing is that I can talk. Yes? So, to be honest with you, I don't really care how I look. But because I'm human, I know seeing myself like this on camera is going to distract me from the reading. And I do not want that. So bear with me. Thank you so much for your understanding. Thank you for your messages, your likes, your love, your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, let's move on to your tarot reading. This reading is for those of you that have strongly Virgo in your chart. Please have in mind that this is a general reading. So the messages that will come through may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is below in the description box. Okay, Virgo, let's see. Virgo. For Virgo. Dealing with a soulmate. Six of Cups. For Virgo. Victory. Okay. Let's see. I feel very good that you are meeting new people. Yes, new people are entering your life. Oh, yeah, your life, your home. Okay, I like that. Let's see. Maybe recently you have, um, like, entered into a, or joined better, joined a, a, a group. Hmm. Someone, what's the, the Knight of Swords? Who is this Knight of Swords? Darling, let's say. Oh, someone that has a lot of passion for you. Someone is heading towards your way. Now, I don't know if this is someone from the past or this is someone like new that is... Ugh. Ace of Cups, I love it. I love it. Let's see so there is someone that has noticed you Virgo or has been noticing you I get I'm not really getting you this is someone from the past or someone you maybe it's mixed right maybe for some of you it is someone from the past and for others of you it's someone like who is entering who is coming let's see hmm for Virgo 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 <laughs> oh my goodness, the page of cups. <clears throat> Look, you see that? The only thing that I really like, like doing videos like this, I really like like the setup here and the how the cards are showing. I really like that, to be honest. Anyway, Virgo. The king of wands. The King of Wands. Now that is fire. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This is the King of Action. Hmm. Okay. One more for Virgo. And we're done for Virgo. Hello. Okay. I'm gonna do that once more. Once more. Come on, now we have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Seriously, this person sees you like they are watching you. Again, I didn't say something about someone noticing you, right? Yeah, I did say I did say that. Okay, okay. 
Now, what is going on here? <clears throat> anyway. Come on, come on, come on. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Virgo. Yeah. You see what I mean? We have the three of pentacles. And again, I'm getting this vibe that someone is watching you, watching your work, watching you online, admiring you, Virgo. Again, I'm getting that... Um, kind of like group setting, um, like it could be the gym or it could be um, somewhere, I don't know, anywhere that, yeah, it could also be like a, if you are joining like a, like a lesson or, 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 I don't know, okay, let's see. First card for you is the page of wands. You are excited here, yeah, very much so, huh? Look, you're dancing. We have the tower. <clears throat> so this is something unexpected, Virgo. What is that? Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Who is that? I'm coming for you, Virgo. So who is that? Let's see. Ah, boo, you're not paying attention at all. You are totally focused, like, on yourself, your future. Yeah, you're like, so much, like, into you right now. Huh? Yes, you are. Ah, what did I say? You're into you, Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. I love this. Mm -hmm. I hope you can see the cars like, anyway. And we have the moon. Okay. So, there we go. There is something that is heading towards you. Better say someone. <laughs> this knight of swords here. You are so much like busy, like, so much like focus, like planning things, like, right? Like, more about you planning. Yeah, yeah, you are also enjoying life. You're going out there. You're meeting people. Or you are, uh, like, making this kind of choice for yourself, right? To get out there. Mm? To get out of the hermit energy. Out of that hermit mode. Yeah? And as I said earlier, maybe join, join a group, a class. Anything. Anything. Okay? I also heard that um, there are there there are some of you that are preparing like um, like um, I'm hearing a new launch. I'm hearing here L launch. So online or something? Yeah. I don't know if you are considering like um, working online, creating a website. For your business. Ooh, I like that. Okay, okay. And you are very creative, Virgo. You are very creative. And artistic. Good, I like that. Hmm. Yeah. But you're not seeing this coming. This is hidden from you. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've never done a reading like this before. So it was a bit difficult for me like to, you know, fix the camera and oh my goodness. But in a way I like it. I don't know what you think. Okay, so. Yeah. Sorry Virgo about that. But I know you will understand me. Hmm. <laughs> I hope it doesn't happen again, but you never know. So, Virgo, Virgo. You're not seeing this coming. You're not seeing this. You're not expecting it. You have put a full stop to this. And I'm going to clarify this Knight of Swords. Oh, yes. 
let's see who is this knight of swords dun, 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 dun. I heard like the drums, like, yeah, you know. <laughs> Who is this Knight of Swords and what do they want, please, Spirit? If it's possible for you to give us some light here. Who is this Knight of Swords that is rushing towards Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. Ah, someone that made a judgment call. Someone that sees things in a different way. Someone that is realizing something here, Virgo. Hmm, okay. One more. Come on, come on. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay. Could be this, it could be that this someone is someone that you worked with in the past. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'm getting a mixed vibe for this Knight of Swords. Again, for a lot of you, this is someone from the past. And for others of you, this is totally new, fresh energy. I'm going to clarify the tower. Because as I said, this is like a very unexpected... This is an unexpected visitor. Okay. Unexpected visitor. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So, this is a soulmate. A soulmate. Six of Cups. Hmm. A soulmate for Virgo. Oh, please. We have the Ace of Swords. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, so a lot of you are like, no, not again, not, not, not water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? I do not choose the cards. And it could be that this person is not a water sign. It doesn't have to be a water sign, but whoever this is, they are definitely in their feelings. They do have feelings. They want to speak. They want to speak their truth. They want to come in Virgo and express themselves to you, how they truly feel. And again, I'm going to repeat this because it's very important. Again, I'm getting a mixed like kind of vibe here. For some of you, this is someone from the past that you haven't seen talk to like for a while oh uh, yes okay okay and for others of you this is someone totally new totally new and it, they, they they come in your life in a very unexpected way there go yes and they're just like from the start you know this is who i am this is what i want virgo i like you Virgo, I want to get to know you better. Virgo, I want to spend time with you. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Let's clarify Virgo. And as I said, you are totally like, you're, you're, you're in your own little world here. Doing your thing. And you are excited with the page of wands. Yeah, you are a high vibe, Virgo. That's what I want to say. High vibe. Virgo, let's do a five Virgo's energy, please. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, the three of swords. That's not your energy. It's not your energy. I'm not accepting this. This is not our energy. No. Let's see. Let's clarify the three of swords. Why is the three of swords coming up here for Virgo? Please. Thank you, Spirit. 
Ah, yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because this is what this is this is what brought you this three of swords is what brought you to this energy of the wheel of fortune. Because this pain is has been cycling out from your life. Maybe has already cycled out from your life. You're not in this energy anymore, but you were. You were. So a lot of you, it could be that this person from the past, this soulmate of yours, disappointed you. Hurt you. That's why you chose you. You made that choice to choose you and let go of the pain. And maybe there are, there are a couple of Virgos that are making this choice right now. To let go of the pain. To allow the pain to cycle out from their life. So, this is cycling out. So let's see what is cycling in. What is cycling in for Virgo? I hope we get an answer. Sometimes I ask for things and I don't get them, right? I mean, yeah. So, what is cycling in, please? If it's possible, put some light to this, please, spirits, if you can. <laughs> please. What is cycling in? Pain, frustration, disappointment, feeling left out, feeling not worthy, cycling out. What is cycling in for Virgo? This one. Yeah, baby! Victory! Because you're the star. That is what is cycling in. Ha <laughs> ha! Bravo, Virgo! Yeah, baby, yeah! <laughs> I'm so excited because it's so true. It's so true, Virgo. You are the star. You are the fucking star, Virgo. Okay? And someone is regretting not seeing this earlier. Someone is regretting, regretting taking you for granted. And there is someone, I'm telling you, Virgo, there is someone that is going to enter your life. That will see you from the first, like they will see, they will see your glory. Fool your glory. And then they will not let you go. They will do everything in their power to keep you by their side. To protect you. To take care of you. To honor you. To respect you. Yes. Because you deserve it, fair go. Okay, I love this reading. Ah! Yes, I love it. Sorry, I'm excited. This is who I am. <laughs> you are the Empress. Come on. You are the Empress. We also have the four of... I'm okay, okay. This is, again, not your energy. Because, look, we have the Hierophant. So this is telling me that someone was... Look, Virgo. Look. Look. So, again, you're turning your back. Look, you're turning your back to whomever is not fully accepting you. Not honoring you. You're turning your back to that. Because you know who you are. You are the Empress. And this is who you are. And you know it. It took you a while to, to like, figure out. And let's be honest. Whatever you have been through... Hmm, All this pain, the frustration, the anxiety, doubts, confusion, solitude, separation. This is what made you, what has transformed you, what, what has, con it has contributed, this three of swords has contributed to your awakening 
to you becoming, or better say, remembering who you are. Virgo. And you will never forget. You will not forget. Virgo. Let's see what's the advice, okay? So, advice, message. I like this deck because it has a lot of messages. Different kind of messages. So let's see what will come up for us. Virgo. For Virgo, please. Let's see. Choose love. Yeah, choose love. If you're struggling with an obstacle or conflict, choose a path of love. Suffering doubt and frustration, all, all, sorry, but yeah, all, all transforming in the pre presence of love. So show your love courageously. Show your love openly. Show your, show your love with no strings attached. It's safe to give and receive love. In fact, if you have a hard time with self-love, start outside yourself and work your way in. Showing love to others can be a gateway for loving yourself. You see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, because for a lot of you, a lot of you were dealing with someone, with a soulmate, that you gave them your all, you gave them all your love, or your affection, your attention, unconditional love. And then all this love now... You brought it back to you because it was about time, right? Yes, it was. It's nice to give. It's nice. Very beautiful. Yes. But sometimes we need to know when to stop. Very good. Okay. Because just some people do not deserve it. You understand what I mean? Up to a point, right? Up to a point. When our love, or, 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 or when we give to people and, and it's just like affecting us and, or rubbing us the wrong way or is affecting us in, in, like in a negative way, then we know that we have overextended ourselves. So we are out of balance. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let's see what is your spiritual message, Virgo. This one. Let's see. Accepting challenges, trust your inner resources. Virgo, Virgo, yeah. <laughs> if this reading did not resonate, you can also watch your moon, your rising, your Venus, and your Jupiter. Take care, Virgo. Bye, bye.